The Planning Commission is hearing testimony today on the county's plan to phase out more than 7,000 vacation rentals to help ease the island's housing crisis. Our Chelsea Davis reports from Wailuku. Yeah, this meeting began at 9 o'clock this morning, and there are more than 200 people who signed up to testify. This specific set of transient vacation rentals, or TVRs, is referred to as the Minotoya List. The University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization, or UHERO, says that represents nearly half of all TVRs on Maui. They released just today that if this policy is enacted, it would increase Maui's long-term residential housing stock by 13% representing a, quote, dramatic increase in housing supply. The mayor says this is desperately needed now more than ever because an approximately 4,000 residents have moved away since the fires last August. Too many of our residents have had to move. I remember Honokawai and other areas being mostly local residents, and I don't even recognize half of that town anymore. My business has five employees, including me. Two are single moms who've been with me for over five years. My cleaning company is a family of mom, dad, and their daughter. All eight of us would lose our jobs. Opponents of this bill say it's the county's responsibility to build more affordable housing units rather than punish people. They also called on the planning department to speed up the permitting process so affordable homes can be built faster. They say eliminating short-term rentals on the Minotoya list would cost Maui County up to $76 million in property tax income every year. Now, if this passes, it will take effect on July 1st, 2025 for properties in West Maui and January 1st, 2026 for all remaining areas with within Maui County. The Planning Commission will recommend to either pass or reject this bill to the Maui County Council. And if they don't get through testimony today, they will reconvene at their next commission meeting on July 9th. Reporting in Wailuku, Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.